81 miles to the Algon Road. Never look back, never ever went slow. Never look back, heard him say that before. Never look back, never stare at a ghost. <laughs> hey, air when the summertime show. Eat hey, shit hey, fly hey, with the drones. Oh no, go hey, on the smoke, grab another pack, go. Pop smoke too, we'll play him here, no. Pops on you, it's funny how that go. Mom, you too, I never could drink slow. Never look back, heard her say that before. Sound like the type of advice I'd ignore. 20 house cop, you all tick tock. You think it's that speed to drop a clock shot. Never smoke sad, I heard that's the thought. Got 44 bucks on the smoke, what you got? Got my mind on a mission on the road to position. Crime in the crime, I admit it, I'm with. Must suckle up crime for my mama, right? Titty, because a dollar made sense, no question. She was weak, she was queen, pin and independent when I was a kid. I'm a loop, don't stop, get it, get it, magic seat. Mommy told me never give a nigga my plug. This is me never give these bitches my love. Still to the day, bro, I'm missing my God. Still to the day, I'm affecting my soul. Daddy told me never give a hundred my money. Had to ask daddy, did daddy do money? Made dollar, made sense, made money, money, money. Got a white bill, I can play boy, funny. Fucked up, but I kept up because I keep it 100. Made a meal that for real ain't a damn thing funny. Never, never look back. Never look back. Never look back. Never look back. Uh -huh. So here's the play. You can't go forward. You can't go back. The past, the present, the future, all the relevant. The only thing that matters is gratitude. Gratitude is everything. Time is nothing. 81 when I moved to the county where the kings is. Walk past St. James Place where the king lives. Think quick. Never saw a class of the liquid. Never get a class for the beast that I've been. With a meaning, mom said Jay gonna speak with a meaning. Keep me now, I'm on fleek as a priest. I don't wear a leash and a leash, but I'm beasted. Never look back, you'll only get bitter. If you get bitter, you will never get better. Yeah, you never make shut up. Tell the truth, fella, you would never really special. You would just lay it with a hit rep. Yo, time came in the chain like you up from the truth, motherfucker. We still up. Never, never look back. Never look back. I don't want that. Never look back. <sighs> hey, everybody. It's Justice for Comics. Hopefully, you guys can hear me pretty good. I just got this headset in the mail from Amazon, um, and I waited three weeks for this thing. <laughs> Apparently, working from home, everyone's buying headsets um it, it was a while to get this thing but uh i used a similar one to this when i was up on vacation in georgia so everyone i remember said that the sound was great they could hear me really well um hopefully that's the case with you guys hopefully you can hear me pretty well through the headset uh if you can't let me know i have no problem disconnecting it if that's an issue or if the sound is not crystal clear. Um, I didn't know if the music playing through through this would work out or not. But, um, yeah, you guys will let me know if it's not working out well. I, I have a lot of technical difficulties sometimes on this show. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we do have a special guest tonight on the Whiskey, Cigar, and Comic show. We got Esteban Salinas. Uh, he's been on the show before. Uh, it's been quite a while, though, and he's been doing a lot of covers since then. And we're going to highlight some of his artwork and get into some uh, some details on what he's working on. And, you know, there's just the process of being a comic book artist. Um, yeah, we're going to get in. We're going to dig into that. I like doing these artist interviews. Uh, I th think I'm pretty good at it. I've had everyone give me positive feedback so far. So. Uh, I appreciate everybody doing that. All right, guys, let me bring Esteban in. Uh, Esteban, you there? Yeah, man, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I don't okay, have yeah. uh, I, I don't have video on you yet, but I yeah, can hear you. Yeah, give me one second. I'm still trying to figure this out because I yeah, have open. Okay. Uh, yeah, my computer. Like I said, restarting this thing is uh, like restarting an engine to the Titanic sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I'm tr testing out a new headset here, so everyone so far says it's working pretty well. So oh, I hope oh. you can. I, I hope you can hear me pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Coming. No, you're you're crystal clear. Yeah, good. On my right. end. Um, yeah, I just got to launch this. 
cam software and then it's going to kick up that should kick up the feed right now oh yeah no problem yeah the only thing that hasn't worked tonight is i i try to light up the cigar my lighter doesn't seem to be working i always yeah. have lighter issues i probably buy four or five lighters a year and they all go bad on me i, I don't know i have bad luck with these things oh well i shouldn't be smoking anyways probably but <laughs> yeah. life's too short right uh, yeah <laughs> that's uh, and I've, I've lived a lot longer than I was supposed to. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the chat, we got, uh, real quick, we got Infamous 415. We got Old Time Cards and Comics. We got Comics and Sketches. So we got a few people Wonderful. in the chat. Usually about 20 to, lately I've been having like 20 to 25 people in the chat. So cool, cool. Uh, I'm sure this will a, pick up. Even if it's one guy, that's good enough for me. Yeah, no, we got a good um, a good amount of regulars that come on here. So, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Um, trying to launch this. So you're still up in Chicago? Yeah. You're still up in uh, Chi-Town? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm not in downtown Chicago, but I'm about a half hour into the city, like northwest suburbs. Okay. So, yeah, I can see see it on a clear day. I can see the city on a clear day, but, yeah, I'm not too far from it. Suburbs, um, suburbs are a little safer anyways, I would imagine. Yeah, right? especially right now. Yeah, it definitely is yeah. safer. And just not to deal with the same kind of traffic and just the infuriation that the city kind of involves. And you pretty much work from home, right? You're not like, you're not traveling yeah. or commuting or anything, right? Yeah, yeah. At the moment, no. Uh, yeah, right. but like usually when I'm doing conventions and stuff, uh, yeah, that, that involves a deal of traveling. But yeah, I'm working in my home office uh, right now and um, getting all that kind of yeah kind of getting the workflow used to because like i said i'm just switched to full-time artist like a couple months ago so i'm still kind of learning the kinks and and yep. kind of making my own schedule and trying to like figure out the most effective way and efficient way to handle a lot of things and i'm not the most organized person in the world being an art just me eh, artists normally aren't so you know yeah. that's, that's part of the thing yeah <laughs> yeah so that's the thing it's just learning well you won't that. have to do you won't have to do conventions for a while that's off the schedule probably till what early next year i would maybe imagine spring of next, next year, year. Yeah, they're, the thing, yeah, they're talking about putting a small one together, I think, um, here in the Chicagoland area. It's they're really popular. They're kind of like touristy section, Rosemont. It's like another like 20 minutes outside the city. It's a very popular yeah. uh, area, but that's where they hold like a lot of the Wizard Worlds and a lot of the conventions. Uh, it's either downtown or this spot is where they hold them. So, And there might be a small one that I might be a guest at, but. It's just like a one day small show, like a hundred vendor, nothing too crazy. But that's at yeah. all as far as I know. Yeah. That's being held. Usually there's like a Chicago Comic Con was supposed to be held in that same location um in October, but they canceled that. And as far as yeah, I just haven't heard anything. Yeah. Um X Flip Broadcaster is finally uh kicking up right now. Thank you, comic Thanks. sketches. I appreciate that. Um all right. Yeah, it's like because it locked the camera because until I launched the uh, the kind of podcast e kind of software, I think that's what's got locked right now. But at least I can talk. Yeah, no problem. Me. Oh, yeah. No, that's good. We'll, yeah. we'll uh, hopefully have you up visually in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It won't yeah, be more than five minutes. So uh, what's the what's the next cover you're working on? Um, for, uh, I, I know have, you can't give you probably can't give me too much detail, but you can probably give us a little. Yeah, little uh, I, I'm working on four, I believe, right now. Um, jumping All between, right. like, I got some new stuff coming out. Um, the deadlines. Uh, I'm really excited about one in particular, though. Uh, I, I I don't know if I can say so. I'm going to be on the safe side, but it is a <laughs> bigger character, and uh, I'm excited, especially to be Halloween creepy. It's it's in that realm, so mm. it's releasing it's dark, it's in dark. October. Yeah, so right. I'm super excited about that. Um, can you say if it's like Marvel, DC, or one one of the? Can you talk about one of the Dynamite. publishers? Dynamite. Okay, good. Yeah, Di Dynamite Comics is the publisher. It is going to be um, Clan McDonald Comics. I do a lot of work with them, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm super excited to be doing another uh, exclusive variant with those guys. So yeah, um, um, yeah. I bought I bought excited. books from him. He's a nice guy, McDonald. Yeah, yeah, Steve. Yeah, Steve. Steve is fantastic. Yeah. He's probably one of the most um, just like nice willing guy. to work with you. Yeah, re yeah like really yeah. nice guy. I met him a couple years ago at uh, I believe it was Milwaukee, uh, Mighty Con Milwaukee. Real really small show, and he came right. up and introduced himself, and he was a big fan of my stuff. And yeah, he's a super nice guy. Uh, yeah, family owned awesome. he runs it like his own shop and he runs works yeah. two full-time jobs and everything so he's he's a very very hard-working dude and very nice so 
yeah, if anyone wants to get uh, in hand that group, that's definitely yeah, it's a, a Facebook Facebook out. group, right? Yeah, I think it's mm -hmm. a Facebook group. I know I'm a member of it, so yeah, I get yeah, notifications on occasion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, awesome. they're that's where they do the majority of their business is uh Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of shops doing that. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it's uh I think it's just easier. Like you get all their information right off the get-go, you're not just like a random like you're doing stuff on Instagram or, or I mean, the only other best of way is I'm going to get be like has, hoping you're hosting your own website, people paying up front, but he works like on a credit system. So anyone who's a member right. can like pay up to 30 days, which is super cool too. Okay. Yeah. So I think we're going to got this. I think I got to back out, I believe and come back in, but yeah, I got it up. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm. All right, guys, we'll have Esteban here on the video. Uh, pretty soon here. Uh, welcome, BTC Moon Guy. Good to see you, my friend. So, yeah, we'll have a nice conversation with Esteban. We'll pull up his Instagram page. We'll kind of um, dig through some of his stuff. We'll highlight some of his recent artwork. It'll be a good, solid show. He's having some technical difficulties. Hell. I always have tech I always have technical difficulties. Uh StreamYard kicks me off sometimes. I don't know. Maybe it's my Wi Fi. Um all right. Instagram is coming up slowly for me. I'm gonna bring up Esteban's bring up his pay Instagram page. I'm going to share the screen, and he'll be with us shortly. Yeah, there we go. So Old Time Cards and Comics is wondering what my adult beverage is. Uh, tonight I am drinking a little Knob Creek bourbon. It's the Maple Bourbon Knob Creek. I really love it. It's perfectly straight with some a couple ice cubes. It's perfect. Nice and smooth. Has a little little of that maple flavor to it. So yeah, for a really cheap bourbon. I mean, I think it's only like what is it? $25, $30 a bottle. It's pretty inexpensive. And uh you don't have any problem buying it anywhere. It's pretty easily obtained. And I've had the, uh, I, I like it. It's one of my favorite go-to bourbons just because it's a, one of those you can drink pretty regularly and it doesn't cost you a lot of money. Some of the higher end bourbons, I kind of sip those a little slower, kind of take those a little slower. Yeah. Makers is good. I had a makers bottle at the beginning of the year. Yeah. I enjoyed that. I probably need to get another Makers. I like Makers. I used to buy the Makers uh, cigars too, which were really nice. They had they're kind of dipped in that in that whiskey, yeah. So it has, it has a nice flavor. I like that cigar. Very very cool. We got eight people to chat. I'm sure we'll get more. I usually get lately. I've been getting like fifteen to twenty five in in the chat. Um, on a, for that's kind of typical for a Thursday night, but um, yeah, I know people got stuff going on, and I know StreamYard sometimes, and I know YouTube doesn't always send out my notifications. I don't know why. I've had people tell me that they're subscribed. They have they click the bell for notifications. And they still didn't know that I was doing a stream, so I don't know. YouTube, uh, you know, it's it's a YouTube issue, I think, perhaps. All right. Esteban, I'm on his Instagram as well. He will join us in a moment. While he's uh while he's joining us, I'm going to show you guys. I, so I picked this up.
Yep. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. <laughs> I backed out by mistake. Hit the wrong button, which often happens for, to me. Uh, let me get back to sharing my screen. All right. Hopefully, Esteban will be joining us shortly. Um, so real quick, there was a cool-looking Scorpion Comics exclusive. I think, yeah, it's still for sale, which is cool. A lot of these have been selling out really fast. I'm glad to see this one is still available. Um, Don't Pay the Ferryman number two. Uh, issue number one was an exclusive through Scorpion as well, and I think that was by Momoko. That sold out very, very quickly. It had a really low print run. Uh, this one's pretty low as well. Uh, only 150 sets, and you can only buy, basically, it's 30 bucks, and you get two comic books, so it's $15 each. Uh, I really like these Scorpion comic exclusives. I love this cover. David Sanchez did the cover here. So if you're interested, that is still available. Um, given the print run being only 150, that one could sell out. So just be aware of that. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested, check out Scorpion Comics. Let me get to, uh, let me get back on Esteban's page. I think he's in the backstage ready to join us. Let me pull up his Instagram page again. Make sure he is ready to go. There he is. Hey, hey Esteban. There you go. And I got it working now. I got it on my iPad. I couldn't figure it out. I, like, I don't know, there was something which just wasn't working correctly. So yeah, I got it. I got something. Hey, it's coming through well. You look, you look nice there. I like your uh, background there with the neon. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, thanks. As uh, office is a little uh, changed a little bit, but yeah, I got a big wall prints for all that stuff now. Easy pickings and things like that. Yeah, yeah. I got your Instagram page pulled up here. I was watching you do some highlights on that Spider Man. Uh, oh, yeah. Drawing that you did. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks good, man. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty uh, new to painting, like, like traditional painting. So I'm, I feel like I'm learning really fast. Like, Mm -hmm. All the stuff that I've done digital over the years has, like, at least prepared me. Like, the theoretically and, like, doing the things digitally has, like, ever, when I started handling paint again, I was like, oh, okay, I've done this, but it's not, like, this exactly the same. So I was able to pick up all, all the techniques really quickly. So I feel like yeah. almost every, like, every couple covers or any couple blanks that I paint, I'm getting much faster and much better. And, like, that one, yeah. I, loved, I just did it earlier, like, four hours ago. But um, yeah, yeah that's awesome. Big fan. Thank you. Is Appreciate that, that. Is, that like a com is that a commission for somebody, or is that just something yeah. you're? Well, I yeah. Check this out. So speaking of Clan McDonald's, huh? oh, all of these guys. That's what we. Uh, yeah, all of these. Um, my little short box full of these oh, yeah. commissions I got to paint on. So it's gonna Damn. take a few months. Like I'm, I'm probably. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's yeah, gonna keep you busy, isn't it? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, um, what was really fun are these horror comics, man. Like, I'm really excited. I love doing these. These yeah. guys are like horror sketchbooks, and they're color. Oh yeah, with the red paper. cover. I, I yeah. love a red cover. Yeah, these things are great, man. They're they're completely blank too. The entire yeah. thing. So you can have a bunch of different artist paints in them, and or sketchbooks, and yeah, you can. It's just really cool, man. I'm super happy, and like being just like a blank horror, like it's so generic, you can really paint anything on there like anything that touches in the horror genre it makes sense you know yeah absolutely so, yeah i got all of these but yeah those are all commissions oh, oh god <laughs> yeah, those are all well i i, I, I said when, when was the last time i had you on my show it was with jim and that was months and months ago wasn't that like probably that six seven about, months ago yeah six seven months ago somewhere in and that i window. And I said even then, I said Esteban's going to get a lot of work in the coming mm. months, and that is exactly what's happened. I appreciate so that. even yeah, with the definitely. COVID and all this stuff, you're you're still you're still getting a lot of work, which is awesome. Yeah, I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for busy. you, man. Yeah, for sure. It's been it's been fun, and awesome. like I said, only a year and a half in since my first cover from last March. 
Yeah. Was. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's getting it's getting real real fast. So it's yeah, it's um, awesome. Yeah, it's been a good time. I'm making meeting a lot of people. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited. I love interacting with the fans and just overall general people that are fan of artwork and comics. Man, it's, that's probably half the fun for me. A little bit more. It's been a good time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, let me pull up your uh, Instagram again here. Um, yeah. yeah, I really like this flat. I mean, I'm a sucker for red covers, man. That flash is awesome that you did too. I love this flash. Yeah, what's really fun about um, the yeah. tone, I'm finding uh, that most artists, or at least artists, I just like that, that paint or draw on um, uh, toned paper, at least. Like, I get the vibe that most people don't like drawing on them because most of them either use Copic or some sort of like um, marker to make it look comic, like quote unquote comic booky, like cell shaded and stuff. So it doesn't always come across right, but man, I love painting on toned paper because. It almost looks 3D when you add the same color of the paper in it. It looks like it's almost um, like coming out or or something, especially that one with the yellow, with the title being the yellow flash and like the yellow behind him and then the red being back. It just creates this really cool kind of effect on that particular yeah. one. Yeah, I, I dig those a lot. No, I, lo- I love that effect that you created there. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm getting, yeah, it's, Very cool. I'm super happy to, like, and I think most people that are, like, hiring me for commissions are, are picking up on that. I like some of my best work is on, like, the tone paper. That's why I like those horror comics so much. It's black, red, and white, which you can still Yeah, look man. And so, like, that Ghost Rider up there, too, is the same thing. Um, that uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider right there. Yeah. That, that one was a lot of fun, too. Just, like, that 80s kind of neon. I, I've always been, like, a, a, a freak for, like vivid neon extreme colors like 80s is my jam yeah. so that one was very um it's almost yeah man that one is um, sick that is sick yeah i'm a, I'm a huge yeah, character I for like under lighting and just extreme like one point focal lighting just everything about it ever since school man i think being a digital artist in like 3d modeling and more of like the animation aspect like pixar that stuff right. I, was, I was always right creating intense lighting and one point lighting systems. Like it's not the best for camera work, but like for, for paintings and, and stuff, it works translates translates over really well. And well, the way I, you I put that, that you, the way, the way you put that white, uh, it makes it look like it's glass, right? You had mm-hmm. created that glass effect, which yeah, I think is that, awesome. That one was, yeah, I, I don't, I don't get too many cosmic ghost writers, uh, but yeah, that yeah. was a lot of fun. I want to do a Mr. Freeze now real bad. I want to have someone do that, and like a blue paper one would be. Oh yeah, you need a blue awesome. background and do white, yeah. do white, right? Yeah, that yeah. would be awesome. Mm-hmm. I'll probably just do that on a blank. I'll probably just take a, a quick wash of uh, uh, blue paint and just let it dry and kind of make it make yeah. sure it's opaque, and then just kind of paint over. It. I think it'd be really cool. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, like the crazy waiting. Like wait, waiting for a blue blank is probably going to take a while. <laughs> There's not too many blue mm-hmm. blank covers coming out, right? Yeah, not yeah. too many. Not that I know of. Uh, the only no. one that I, I think I've seen recently is the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. You know, the, yeah. the four. Didn't they have like a four set that was like each one yeah. for the turtles? Right, yeah, they did. That's the only one that, I, that I've seen. But um, yeah, just like, I, and I feel like all, because like I said, I've been working with Clan McDonald comics a lot. And um, all those blanks are basically from his, his group and uh, just people watching the live show and like put like picking out like, Oh, I want him to do this one. And, and all, almost all of those are all for his or everyone in that group. And so it's, it's really fun. It's like almost sometimes I feel like it's um, some people are just like almost rouletting pachinko, like throwing darts at a spinning board, like some weird requests for right. certain characters that I've never heard before. And it's a really good drawing exercise to have a stack of them and each one being completely different from the other one. It's been that's like half the fun with those, but sometimes it's uh, it can be a little just mentally exhausting drawing like I, that. I love this, I love this Vader one that you did. God, that's so good. Yeah, I started that one was really cool. It's like, started, it's like he's coming, at, he's like he's coming out of the darkness, right? He's like yeah, coming out of the yeah, darkness. That's what I wanted. I wanted him to be like coming, like almost yeah. like that. Uh, what was it? Um, Rogue One when he comes out of the, like that dark hallway, yeah. 
that's just kind of like what yeah. I wanted to him to be coming out of the shadows. And I, like I found oh, some yeah. references and, and uh, I started almost, I started with the eye first and I worked my way out and I started with the reflection. Yeah. I love that. I love that little detail. Yeah. The reflection mm -hmm. of the saber in the eye. Mm -hmm. God, that's so good. Yeah. I started that. I started with that first and kind of worked my way out, which was really cool and like different. Um, but yeah, uh, looking at it now, I could see, I could probably add a lot more piercing highlights in the hat and it would look, it would bring it even more dimension. Um, yeah. Like opaque colors, uh, like the really opaque white is what really helps sell it a lot. Like yeah. really well, like in the helmet, right. how much brighter that is versus everything else. It's just, that's what I think sells realism because a lot of people fail or at least beginning artists right. are just, uh, people that are drawing really, like really need to push edges and, and and not be afraid because I, that was yeah. one of my biggest things of like painting like traditional is like as a digital artist you always have the safety net of undo and and uh like being able to just like work in layers and be completely safe but right. paint is really easy to manipulate like you can just keep building and keep building oh you mess one part up just black over it and like fill on it again it's not right. as permanent as people think so i think that really kind of gives you takes away a lot of the stress yeah, because that was that was my biggest thing, my biggest fear. Of, like starting to do painting in people's books, it's like someone's like giving their hard-earned money to me, and like a book that they bought, paid for, and I'm gonna just draw on it. Like that, that was a big, like anxiety-filled thing for me. Like, okay, like I hope it comes out good. Yeah, I don't want to ruin this one. Well, I have to do about me. a couple dozen of those, then the anxiety yeah. goes away, right? It's like yeah, it's sure. second hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just each one. I always try to do each one differently, and I don't personally like to kind of replicate the same stuff over and over that's i think what people are starting to like like is every remark's yeah. almost different every cover it could be the same character but i've done like five or six different vaders but they're all completely different from each other um like yeah all the god uh, that uh there's a, Dar that, that there's a darth was really maul yeah that darth maul yeah. was really cool too same thing i kind of did oh the aquaman effect. yeah that yeah was yeah that's was cool. yeah that's cool yeah, I, I don't like, I think also with, you can see like the orange on his cheek. Yeah. It's uh, like that also sells like lighting really well. It's bounce lighting. So like I made his sh shimmering uh, suit. Bouncing you know, off just, his like, uniform just, yeah, there or whatever the hint, his shirt. Yeah, just yeah. the hint of the orange like is enough to really like, whoa, that looks super cool. Like it's almost, it's dimensional, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And just having that right. like, light and the, even the water, you can see like I, I kind of put distorted, um, this sort of orange so it's like it's still kind of see-through like the water it's not just blue like that this right. little things here and there you kind of pick up over time of drawing uh little, like little tricks to really sell realism and and uh just have fun with it yeah that one yeah it's awesome i i think i started i did that one in pencil first which i rarely do i i i don't stick to one particular like yeah, I would like to see if I would like to see you do like a video of you doing a pencil sketch. That would be kind of cool to see. Yeah, there isn't there isn't too much. I, I really don't start pencil for the most part, but there are times yeah. that I do. I feel like portraits. I, I tend to do a little bit more because with likenesses yeah. and it, it's so subtle. Like the subtlest change can make a world of a difference in making someone look like someone. Like it's. Uh, yeah um so i yeah. think that is generally when i do pencil sketches but like when it's like a superhero in a mask or when it's venom carnage or that spawn like i i just go straight paint and it's just it's the right. safe just or the faces are so soft like her i think i did sketch her first as well uh, i kind of like softly like built up the values and and that that, that yeah. wonder woman up there like, yeah so know. really when it comes to faces and portraits mm -hmm. it's really the triangle right it's the eyes to the nose right that triangle yeah formation. nose nose and eyes are <coughs> excuse me are huge uh huge right huge for likeness <laughs> it's amazing yeah. how like what i found in doing gal gadot or Gadot is it it's good right i always get it wrong yeah 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 her <laughs> nose she's got a very like uh it's like point it down and raise it a little bit like even just something as subtle as that makes like, right oh now it yep. looks like Gadot. like it's so so simple. she has very almond eyes too they're very thin right. and very long like as far as like width wise so yeah, yeah. It's just eyes eyes and nose like you can tell like an actress who she is just from like a like if you were to take a shot of just their nose and eyes you can tell immediately right that's, uh, that's nearly all most of it. most I mean, most of the facial recognition software, that's what they look at is the mm -hmm. eyes to the nose even, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. once in a while you have somebody with a different crazy mouth or something, but mm -hmm. 
most yeah, most mouth. people's mouths are fairly similar. They're not drastically different. Most people's yeah, mouths. No, yeah, not necessarily. Yeah. It's it's gen- yeah, like you said, you called it. It's about eyes, eyes and nose, and like yeah. you can see, someone can drastically lose weight or gain weight. And if you look at their, it's usually people look at the eyes. Like, oh, it's this person. Like you can. That's never. Really <laughs> yeah. Changes. Yeah. You don't. <laughs> Uh, well, you can, I would look a lot better if I lost some weight because it's all down in my yeah. below my chin there, you know. So yeah, the neck there. A number on all of us, man. Me too. I gotta get back to <laughs> working, back to exercising yeah. and keeping healthy. Because yeah, being stuck at home and drawing is just uh, yeah. it's not you know. it's not good. Like my mm-hmm. son, who's very active, plays soccer, and you know they really haven't had soccer for months now. So yeah. he's gained about ten pounds because he's <laughs> sitting at home. You know, on his tablet or whatever all day, and yeah, it's not, not good. Not good. Yeah, I play Ush too. That portrait, uh, just like younger people and and old people are. Oh, like, see, my my daughter loved Billie Eilish, man. If you ever yeah. want to, if you ever want to send me a gift, send me a Billie Eilish drawing. Okay, she'll she'll enough. think I'm yeah, yeah, she'll I, think I she'll think I'm a hero. Her. You know. Yeah, I did print more of her because uh, it was for a client. It was a private commission, but she's. I asked her. So I did. Yeah, don't, dude. Friend. I would. I need to buy that. I need to buy that print from you because. Yeah, she, I gotta, she would I gotta love make to it have available that. online and just put up like twenty or thirty of them. I was yeah. to fifty, but yeah, her. Just like women in in general are harder to draw, at least to make yeah. it attractive. Like the skin and everything is a lot softer than the guys' beards with the beards and mustaches, and it's right. it's easier to just like kind of. Sketch and you know, look at this. It looks good. Versus like women and the other question is I'm going haywire. Uh, you back, Esteban? Hopefully, you guys can hear me. I don't know if, it, if it's on my end or if it's Wi Fi. It might be my Wi Fi. I don't know. Yeah, I think we had a technical difficulty there. Yeah. That might have been me. Uh, I took it off the, the Wi Fi just now. Yeah, sometimes my Wi Fi goes crazy. Yeah. So it could be yeah. me. I don't know. Yeah, no, I've been having so many problems with, with my internet lately as far as just, uh, like, it'll be dropped to five yeah. megs. There was a couple of days where it was, like, two megabits a second. I was, like, losing my mind. Um, but it could be just be more people. Yeah, everybody, everybody's tapping into yeah, it, man. Yeah. yeah, I think everybody's tapping into it these days, yeah, right? That's yeah. what I'm thinking. It's just everyone's at that's home and using the internet at the same time. That it's, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. The bandwidth are getting sucked up, man. But, uh yeah, no doubt about it. Um, yeah, guys, so bear with us. I know we're having technical issues here here and there, but uh, we'll, we'll get through it. Yeah, if anyone has yeah. any comments um, or questions, uh, for some reason. Yeah, I know. One, one of the questions was, I saw one of the questions was they were asking about, you know, do you do more digital than, obviously, I think more digital than, than typical. Uh, yeah, paint, I, I painting knew, or, um, or drawing. Yeah, lately though, as of as since doing all those sketch covers, I've been doing a lot more traditional painting as of late. But um, right. yeah, yeah, as for cover covers are always for me go to. I'll, I'll do uh, um, maybe some sketches traditional, and then I'll, I'll go. But to, as far as workflow and speed, it's always digital one hundred percent. It's just much faster. You don't have to worry about paint yeah. drying. You don't have to get materials together yeah. and you don't have to do all these things it's like um but i, I did start recreating um so like sleeping beauties i started recreating this for someone a client so it's i'm recreating the original painting so i started doing that um so i'm doing so it's the sleeping beauty i don't know if you guys have seen it but it's going to be this one Boop. So I'll slowly start piecing it together and kind of recreating because uh, this was completely digital that I did. I did it pretty quickly because like, I was inspired really uh, at like two in the morning and I did the majority of it in like four hours. 
but this what so but um i'll get the groundwork done and i'm starting to recreate a lot of my covers uh, at least like a one of one like this is on canvas painted so hopefully i can finish i'll finish that pretty soon um but yeah so i started doing that uh as far as covers like because i've been getting a lot of people because my stuff looks traditional and so i'll have a good number of people uh ask about the originals and and i'm like most of them are completely digital so but i've started to kind of recreate some of them and hopefully i can continue that for people that are super interested in original uh covers yeah and you're gonna make pretty good money selling original artwork especially i mean that's definitely a yeah. good revenue stream for you yeah. yeah it's just it's it's a lot more finessing and a it's lot more work more, it's, it's, it's more work time for sure it's oh like yeah a lot more oh time. yeah just yeah. especially over the workflow of perfecting kind of photoshop my workflow for so, for so many years like I, I can get a cover done and like it, it kind of it depends on a couple of different factors of how motivated I am and or like if I'm really into the subject matter or how, how like mentally I'm doing that day something I can get it done in five hours sometimes like fast but there are other days well that I, I days. think what I think the what you're doing is perfect if you find a cover you really like then go back and recreate it yeah uh, an original yeah and that way you know you're more interested you're gonna you're gonna get it done. Yeah. And you're going to have people – if you like it, most people are going to really like it. So they're going to want to buy it sure. from you, you know, the original yeah, artwork. that's a good so. point. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Instead of like waste, not – I'm not going to say wasting, but instead of like dedicating all that effort into like an original that maybe wasn't that sought after or wasn't uh, as popular right. as some of the other ones that I think – yeah, going back and recreating some of the most popular ones. Like the Demon in the Sea, if I were to do that, I think would be uh, – right. uh, oh, I, yeah. I could definitely recreate that for sure. I didn't even think about it until now. Um, but that's like, and, and you'd have plenty of people that would want to buy it for sure. Yeah, There's no doubt yeah, about that. That original would be really cool on canvas. It probably wouldn't yeah. have that same. Well, no, I can do some really cool with the grays and blues that they had, and try to replicate it as close as possible. Especially being mostly yeah. silhouette, and then the 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 kind of tentacles at the bottom would be kind of fun. Yeah. to make. Right. Yeah, that's probably something I'm going to do actually once I get that one done and a couple other things. But, I've got yeah. I've got the comic book and the print in my collection. Those are prized possessions of mine. That's the print awesome. and the comic book. Yeah, yeah. And um, you did a really yeah. nice re you did a really nice remark for me on that print too, which I really appreciated. Awesome. I'm glad. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the prints. Yeah. Uh, yeah, remarks again are another thing I really enjoy making. It's just uh, I don't know. I think it's like I, I tend. Yeah. I, I really like to push myself and try to do the best I can as far as but for especially for things like that, like remarks from being almost like right. painting. But all most of my stuff right. would be painted. I'm just getting better with them, so hopefully people will really see like uh, just like because when I see with remarks, like when I was just attending Comic Cons, I would be like, oh man, like if it was a big like an Alex Ross or type, then yeah, I get it. Like if it's just a little sketch, he's got maybe millions of people asking him. But right, um, yeah. But yeah, I can I can see why. But I just don't, I want people to like, kind of know that like when they get a remark from me, it would be good. Um, right. At least right now, until I get buried and I can't really dedicate that same level of time. Um, yeah, because I don't want to make it not affordable either, you know. Right. Maybe yeah. That. But yeah, that's the goal. So, what do you what do you think about the comic book industry, man? Is it, do you think it's healthy? Is it is it going through some turbulence at the moment? What are your thoughts on all that? <sighs> Definitely turbulence. Um, yeah. It's, but it's it's kind of, everyone's kind of finding their their kind of groove now. Like as far as yeah. I, I would almost like say capitalism or, or it's kind of working for its favor right now like people will find out what works what doesn't and the ones that are going to adapt are the ones that are going to survive so like yeah. uh, like source points doing pretty good they're doing their online shows only and, and everyone's kind of finding ways to just keep themselves afloat at least for the time being yeah. but i think it'll be right. fine i definitely think if anything is going to think going to be better than ever once kind of things normalize a little bit yeah yeah I think maybe the hunger especially when comic cons come back like i think it's gonna be a madhouse when that kind of right stabilizes it, it's called pent up demand exactly <laughs> right every yeah. everybody's been sort of suppressed suppressed and yeah. they're not going to cons and yeah. then all of a sudden it's just gonna like the doors are gonna blow off and everyone's gonna yeah. go nut yeah yeah i think that like the first couple shows are gonna take a hit for sure is is but the yeah. ones are gonna want to like i don't get to double edged sword like do you want to be the first where you could potentially like kind of have a jump on the market. You're like one of the only ones in town or do you like, or are you going to, is, is it going to be that? Or is it going to be like, there's no one shows up because everyone's still kind of like precautious about all the yeah. stuff or people not going to show you up. That, it's, it's, it's a you get that delicate balance. Yeah. There's yeah. no doubt about it. Yeah. That's where you're I mean, we didn't, we, we didn't, 
you know, we didn't have the San Diego Comic Con this year. We didn't have yeah. really the the New York, right? That was all. That's yeah, officially uh, canceled. I believe they announced that. Yeah. On their, I don't think it's happened yet, has it? They're are they doing no. it on the same date this year? Like, because I know they're doing the online stuff. Yeah, and, I think uh, it's all going to be virtual. It's all going to yeah. be virtual. So. Yeah, um, but I mean, it's it seems like people are still spending money. People are still enjoying trying to at least yeah, enjoy yeah. themselves. So I mean, that's great. Um, so that like that just says like the demand's there. It's it's not. It's gone still anything. it's still there. It's still yeah. there. Yeah, the exclu- I see a lot of exclusive covers are still selling out. You know, there's yeah. still a lot of people going crazy for you know certain certain types of covers that are coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there, I still yeah, see that demand. There. Yeah, what was up with, uh, like I said, I'm kind of out of the loop, not out of the loop, but uh, I tend to kind of bury my head a lot and just kind of either stay yeah. busy, but I saw the, what was it, Delato's, was it? the That Mickey Mouse cover that, like, exploded. Oh, yeah. What, what was that yeah, about? I, I don't even know. I, like, came out of the, I came so, out of, like, <laughs> I saw these books were going were insane. Like, what? Yeah. So he did an exclusive for Scorpion Comics, okay. um, and he did a color he did a color v- virgin variant. I think mm. that one was limited to 666 copies. Mm. I don't know. The devil and Mickey, I guess, right? I don't know. <laughs> They're using the 666 yeah. number. And yeah. then the, the black and white was limited to 333, so a mm. half that amount. Yeah. So they were selling the sets for $60 a set. Mm. And, dude, the sets now, those are going for like six dollars $700 easy, yeah. $800. Yeah. Yeah, it's insane. Um, I yeah, bought I two sets. I, got, I ended up getting two sets, you know, and it's sold out fast. Yeah, I saw so it. So you got to be like, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not, if you're I, not I just, on there right at the time that they say they're being released, you've got about a minute, about a one minute yeah. window to buy that. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. It's wild, man. Yeah, so, I, I, was, uh, I, well, I mean, Tomato. Yeah, Delato's a popular artist. He's been around mm-hmm. a while. I mean, I think I remember buying the first time I remember seeing him do art was back when he did Secret War, mm-hmm. um, which was probably in the early 2000s. I think that was the first time I recall seeing his art. Mm-hmm. He did the Secret War. Uh, he did the covers and the interiors. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and you know he's been pretty popular ever since then. But yeah, his stuff. Yeah, if it's good. if it's if it's less than a thousand, it sells out real quick, real quick. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna be up there with him, man. I've been saying that for a long time. Your stuff is as. I hope so. Good. Yeah, I definitely hope so. Um, but yeah, it, I'll just let it come when it comes. Uh, just trying to stay busy, just put out the best stuff I can, and hopefully I get better every every day. That's the goal. Yeah. Um, that that's the thing. You just keep keep going and keep improving on what your craft, and yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, it'll all come together. That's all yeah, you that's can do. The, yeah, I think yeah, that's a, that's the secret to at least getting ahead of life or just doing. You got to enjoy the journey. You got to enjoy what you're doing. Because right. If you just kind of have that end goal in mind, and you could probably only keep that up for so long. But once right, and chair so squeaky. Um, once you only once you you're gonna burn yourself out eventually, and you won't get that far. Right. If you can truly enjoy what you're doing or enjoy the process or enjoy like the kind of uh, a skill based or just the it, getting better is the, the key yeah. part and once you do that i think that's the key and you'll eventually doesn't matter how long it takes it, it can never come where right. it doesn't or does or doesn't and you'd still be kind of happy so that's the right thing. that's the that's the, that's the goal for I, sure you know i think i think a lot of artists too they get they get a little too down on themselves like they're i know they're always very critical of their own work i mean i've seen that mm-hmm. quite a bit with certain artists um and i think you're right you gotta you gotta enjoy the moment right i think that's yeah. absolutely important enjoy the moment Absolutely. enjoy enjoy where you're at um yeah you're always concerned about the future but don't worry about it too much you know i think right. people get over concerned about the future Absolutely. Um, you know talent yes. will be rewarded you know that's i fully believe in that and hard work will be rewarded as well so yeah eventually um, yeah. eventually you 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 will be noticed and you will as long as you just consistently i mean because this is the key with everything as yeah as that, it like, is even like Weight. I mean, like we get easy analogies. Weight loss. Like you can stay healthy for a week, but if you don't keep it up, it's not going to happen. So it's like, but you right. just keep doing it, keep doing it, just keep trying. And even if it's baby steps, man, that that's like the, that's the name of the game because this is the and uh, and just drive. This will get you anywhere. Yep. 
kind of tells you, yeah, I was working, I worked a full-time job uh, up until April when COVID hit. And, yep. but I've been, I've been working 40, minimum 40 hours a week at my day job, coming home, working, painting, getting better. I was doing that and then using all my vacation time for uh, conventions. I was doing, so the first year, I think I did 30 or 40 conventions. Yeah, in one year. wow. I know. And yeah, I remember you like, did a lot. Yeah, I would, I would go weekends and then come back and to work on Monday or Tuesday and then work that whole week and then do a convention. Maybe the, and the, I had one at least tw- two a month, I think it was. Yeah. So I was coming back dead tired and going to work. Oh, yeah. Home drawing and, and fulfilling, printing, keeping up with all that stuff. But yeah, it was hard for sure. But yeah. like now I can finally at least get a little breather and kind of like reflect a little bit. And now I can get better and focus on drawing now, which hopefully that'll right. ramp up my like I should see my skills at least get better in a much quicker timeline now, I think. Yeah. Because I'll have yep. all this time to dedicate to that alone. So hopefully better things yeah. will come. But as of now, even if I don't move forward, I'm happy as it is. Yeah. At least yeah. in this area. Well, it sounds yeah. like you got enough to keep you busy for a while. You're you got a lot of commission oh, yeah. work. Um, doing all those covers. I know you've got several websites that are highlighting your artwork, which is awesome. That's great. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm pretty yeah, bad man. with keeping up with that stuff. So yeah, anytime you find anything, shoot up my way because I would love to, to reach the post and <laughs> yeah. share any of that stuff. Oh yeah, but, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I'm doing working with uh, Exchange Collectibles. I got two covers with them this month: uh, Clan McDonald Comics, and uh, I think there was one more. I'm sorry, I have all written down somewhere. Like I said, it's been yeah, it's, it's been a crazy. No, I, crazy I month. anytime an exclusive cover of yours comes out, I, I look for it, and you know, I watch, I'm subscribed to all of them on Facebook, Instagram. Mm-hmm. So I usually don't, I usually don't miss anything if there's something coming out. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I kind of look for it. So, yeah, now I'll definitely highlight your art on my channel. You know, I'll tell my subscribers, make sure you go go buy that comic book, support Esteban. You know, I've kind of been doing that for the last year for you anyways. Yeah, for you sure, know, highlighting been, been quite a bit. Help, man. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. I say, just see you guys yeah. enjoying my stuff and all, all the fans that are fan of yours, fan of mine. Thank you. For real. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's awesome. And, um, yeah, it's it's I'm excited, man. So what's just things and hopefully people still enjoy my work and still, uh, keep being a fan. That's all I could really ask for. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, Hey man, that, that was a good interview. I, I appreciated you coming on the show. Um, oh, I was going to do about 45 minutes to an hour and we already hit 45 or at 47 minutes. So that's good. It's wild, man. Um, it's anything else? You, I know it goes fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything um, else you want to talk about we can you know it's just it's all up to you man I, I'll, I'll give you the the time that yeah, you want no, no, nothing jumps to mind other than like i said just i got some new covers coming out this month so i'm pretty sure yeah. I, you'll share it uh, i'll post it on my social media. oh yeah instagram definitely i'm the most active on there uh yeah active that in my personal facebook and uh like i said if you guys aren't already um if you guys want I, I first dibs at like the sketch covers and stuff definitely be a, become a member of clan mcdonald comics on Facebook because that, that I'll be where I work a lot with them personally. And since they're the ones that's handling the shipping and like the bookkeeping and all, like, it's, it's way better uh, than me yeah, yeah. handling it at least. So right. they're the ones that kind of like organize and get all the orders and invoices ready and they they can handle them. They put you in credit terms. So, I mean, joining that group would be the best way to get at least a guaranteed, um, uh, in, yeah. like added to the workflow for sure. So yeah, Clan McDonald yeah. Comics, I highly, highly recommend. Even if you're a fan of All comics right. in general, if you're not going to get my stuff, just joining them is, is awesome. Yeah. When yeah, when this posts on cool. YouTube, I'll put a link to to their site uh, yeah. on, on the description so everybody knows where to go to. Um, and yeah, I already yeah, put a link a, to your website and Instagram. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's a private group on Facebook, but you'll you'll get um, uh, you'll get accepted pretty pretty quickly within like a day or so. Yeah. And then you're you'll be um, then you just you can claim on any of their live sales and they'll send you an invoice. You have like 20 yeah. days to pay and you're good. Yeah. That's all it really takes. Yeah. So, yeah. I've done that so on a couple. You. I've done that on a couple of them. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, he's great. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions or any last minute uh, things, feel free to shoot it, ask away. Like I said, I got a being on the iPad. Uh, I can't have the comments up and video stream at the same time. Yeah. Pope says he's got the demon and the sea virgins that hang on his wall. There you go. You got a That's fan awesome. there. 
That's great. <laughs> I never yeah, expected man. that cover to get as popular as it did. Oh, uh, man. Um, first time I saw it, I was like, that's going to be a hot book. That's going to be a hot cover. Mm-hmm. I knew right away when I saw it. Yeah, yeah to, this, to this day, that's yep. the, the fastest selling exclusive. It proves like three minutes. Like 150 of them were gone. So, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you'll have another one that'll be better. I guarantee that. You'll have another one. All right. Oh, Esteban's got frozen out. It looks, he's, uh, I know we had some connection. Sorry about that. I, uh, I was in the comments and I yeah, it's all these go. it's all these damn people on Wi Fi right now, man. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. It's yeah, funny. That was, that was weird. Like I said, I, I was in the comments and I hit back on the browser instead of hitting back oh, on the comments. And it yeah, yeah. Off, but I didn't want to yeah, leave yeah, that. I, I do that all tell everyone to thank you and uh, I didn't want to just cut out like that. So yeah. goodbye. For sure. Yeah. Hey Esteban, thanks again for coming on the channel, man. I appreciate your time. Uh, make I'll have the in the link on my description on the YouTube channel. I'll have the link for his Instagram page, website, and also the Facebook Clan McDonald. If you guys want to join that, I think that's a good idea. I definitely joined it a while ago, so uh, yeah, I'm going to encourage everybody to do that for sure. Awesome, thank you, man. It's a pleasure. Right, Anytime man. you guys want to have me on, I'd, I'd be more than happy to. Yeah, yeah, we'll have you down the road. We'll have you on again for sure. All right, man. All right, have man. Everyone. Thank you, All right. everyone. Stay safe. All right. Later, Gator. Later. All right, bye. All right, guys. That was our interview with Esteban Salinas. Um, some technical difficulties. I don't know. It could be my Wi-Fi. Sometimes it's difficult when you're, you know, you're connecting somebody that's across the country. Um, you know, my I'm outside here. My Wi-Fi connection isn't always the best. And sometimes at night it gets a little worse. So I appreciate everybody that was able to join in on the chat. I know it wasn't my biggest crowd. <laughs> I normally uh, have at least 10 to 15 people watching. I, I think I don't think I broke 10 tonight, but yeah, pr- maybe it was because of the technical difficulties I've, I was having. So hopefully this show, this replay is okay on YouTube. Um, leave comments. Uh, on my YouTube channel, I'd love to see what you guys thought. Um, you know, what what did you guys think of Esteban and his artwork? I've had him on the show before. Definitely will have him on again, uh, especially as he gets more and more work, which I'm pretty sure he'll have no problem getting. He's uh, been pretty busy this year, and I definitely see a lot bigger things coming from him in the near future. All right, guys, that's it. Tomorrow, uh, Tomorrow's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Um, I will have uh, my normal afternoon review of the Hot 10 list from CBSI, so look for that. Uh, I will have that posted in the afternoon tomorrow. Uh, most likely I'll do a live stream on that, so you know, maybe we'll have some interaction with the chat. I may pull up some comic book news. Anything that's kind of interesting this week that's happened in the world of comics, I will try to highlight for you and bring to your attention. Um, this weekend, uh, I think I got a couple big books coming in this weekend. I know I've got a lot of exclusive covers that are uh, in the mail to me. I think there's at least two or three that are coming in this weekend. So I will be doing a kind of a mini comic call on that, highlighting some of those books. Make sure you're watching me on Instagram or, or following me on Instagram because I do post a lot of uh, timely information, You know, especially if you're looking at exclusive variants and covers that are coming out. 
you know, once in a while I'll post something on Instagram, kind of giving you a heads up. So uh, make sure you're following that. All right, guys, that's it. I've been on about an hour. Uh, I'm glad that the headphones are working out. I mean, these are – I paid a hell of a lot of money for these damn headphones. But I noticed I got them wired right now. They have a wireless option. It's not Bluetooth. It's like a Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz option option that that um, allows you to have a wireless connection but I've had people tell me that there was a little bit more feedback with the wireless so the wired option seems to be a little bit clear uh, and I'm assuming if it wasn't very good you guys would tell me anyways and I think everyone said that it's been been pretty clear uh, this the audio audio quality so I've been trying to work I one of these headphones because I want the audio to be better and sometimes I'm outside and there's you know, shit going on. There's owls on the roof across the street. There's kids riding by screaming obscenities at me, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I figure having the headphones would eliminate a lot of that background, that background noise. Plus I think when I played the music in the intro, I think that for sure, that's a lot better quality. Um, Cause normally I'm playing it um, through my laptop microphone, which I know is not that great. So hopefully you guys heard the music a lot better. I'm going to watch it and read it and make sure that it, you know, that it sounds pretty good. So yeah, I may have to tweak things. I'll let you guys know, but uh, I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to stay with these head, this headset. Um, seems to be working a little bit better, a little bit better audio. All right, guys. Uh, th thanks for hanging with me. Um, leave comments, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, hit the bell for notifications and look for my next video tomorrow. I'll have that out in the afternoon, highlighting the hot 10 list from CBSI. So check that out. And everyone have a great evening, and I appreciate you coming by and checking it out. Thanks, guys.